Also, but I realize that whatever I do say, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir. I, I know how supportive many of you have been on a particular subject that brings us together here. In my State of the Union address, I said it was vital to our nation's security that we provide the freedom fighters in Nicaragua and other countries with not only the means to die for freedom, but also to win freedom. And there are many ways in which a democratic outcome can be achieved in Nicaragua. It can happen at the negotiating table or by the success of the resistance on the ground. But one thing is certain, we must provide more effective assistance and we must lift the restrictions which now tie our hands. The program approved last year has helped to maintain the pressure of the resistance of the, on the Sandinistas, but we have to do more to help the freedom fighters. You can't fight attack helicopters with piloted by Cubans with band-aids or mosquito nets. And as you'll hear from Bill and Cap and George, it's not just a question of giving more assistance and resuming military assistance. It's also very important to give the resistance fighters the training, advice, and also the intelligence information that they need. We've been consulting closely with many of you on what kind of assistance proposal to send to Congress. We'll be sending you our proposal shortly. We have to supply real pressure to get their attention. And to be effective, we have to provide our help in a very discreet manner. We cannot continue with a completely overt program. We have to be attuned to the sensitivities of those in the region who will help us, but can only do that if the program is not public. The stakes here are very high. We've told the Soviets time and again that we won't accept their conduct in the third world, but we can't expect to talk them out of it. We have to keep the pressure on I think that's the only way to put U.S.-Soviet relations on a better footing. Between now and the next time I see General Secretary Gorbachev, and this is the message I want him to get. But that's enough of the monologue here. Now I have a few minutes here. To you can have an exchange and then, as I say, I'm going to run and put you in.